So please welcome uh, with me first from um, HR, RAD, the Head of Family, Children and Lifestyle Program from Hessischer Rundfunk, Gabriele Holzner. Yeah! Hi, hello everybody. Um, yes, uh, as Christoph said, now I'm very sorry it's becoming boring because it's about TV shows. And even worse, it's about linear TV shows. So because uh, I'm coming from HR and uh, I'm representing here um, the system of RD and um, for the uh, German audience here in this uh, hall, you can now check your emails for the next uh, one minute because the next sheets I decided just to explain a bit for the international audience what is RD because uh, every time when I uh, speak with uh, international producers uh, they ask me who are you, how is it working with RD, to whom should we talk uh, to get our projects uh, on air. This is, uh, this is RRD, the uh, joint organization of the regional public service broadcasters in Germany. Um, and I am HR, uh, as you can see, a little one of the uh, nine uh, regional uh, broadcasters. Um, we are doing children program for um, Das Erste, the first public channel. And uh, our children slots on the weekends, uh, early in the morning, Saturday and Sunday, and some special events as on Christmas times, uh, uh, we have uh, afternoon slots. And our children program on Das Erste is labeled, normally labeled Check Eins, which we are putting together as uh, at HR in Frankfurt. The next channel, of course, you all know, is Kika, the public uh, children channel in Germany, uh, which is um, from uh, morning to uh, nine o'clock in the evening. And th these are uh, what you can see there. These are the shows who are just running at the moment. No, of course. As I said, uh, it's very banal, but uh, true, we are public broadcasters, and for our children uh, programs, public values are really important. So we like to uh, have shows on air which help children living in this more and more complex world and understanding better this world. We want to have, of course, uh, German life setting um, within the shows, but not only because the world is getting more and more international. Um, we want uh, public values like civil courage. Um, there is no violence. There is no sex within uh, children's programs on public broadcasters. And um, as we heard uh, um, in the last uh, one hour, there is no product placement uh, within the shows. Uh, it's uh, forbidden for us. Um, um, we even want to have uh, TV programs gender neutral. Uh, it has to be for girls as well as for boys. Uh, not in each slot, of course. Uh, there are slots more for boys and more for girls. But for prime time, we prefer gender neutral programs. Um, our programs should be um, character driven stories. Um, of course, the whole range humor, comedy, which is not very easy for uh, the different um, target groups, sorry, for the different target groups action, adventure, emotional and entertaining. And often uh, people uh, think, are thinking that public, broadcaster, public broadcasters programs have always to be educational. No, 
they have to be emotional and entertaining. And if there is uh, any educational content into, in the background, thank you. But it's not only in, at the first level. Um, and I have to mention, we, ha we here are at the uh, APD Animation Production Day, but our slots, our children program, is not only animation program. We have to do all genres, all sorts of programs, which means we do a lot of magazines about uh, current events or science. We, of course, do factual uh, series. We do documentary. We do a lot of live action. We do movies. We do shows. And we do animation shows. The brands we have uh, realized um, in the last years, uh, uh, ARD, together, we are, um, as you can say, we are organized in sort of commissions, boards, um, where we are uh, working together and we, were, we are putting our money together to uh, finance, to co-produce, to license shows together, all nine regional channels. But even at the same time, each channel can do his own shows uh, for Kika and decide by himself. So together we did um, the adventures of the young Marco Polo, which has been done by a German producer and we are doing, at the moment, the second season. We co-produced Lena's Ranch, which has been an international co-production with uh, TF1 in France, uh, Rai, and um, the German RD. And here as well is the second season, for example, in production and will come uh, 2060 on air. 16. Of course, not 60. <laughs> this would be a bit too late. <laughs> um, of course, Yakari is very well known. Um, uh, we are doing the fourth season at the moment, and even the fifth season is in development. Uh, it's a prime time uh, show uh, at Kika. Um, very, very successful um, by the target group six to nine. You know all. We licensed, for example, Geronimo Stilton. Um, we co-produced The Little Prince. We uh, co-produced Hexe Lily, which uh, is produced uh, by Germans as well. And for example, last uh, weekend, uh, we did Kika and RD together, the Hexe Lily weekend, uh, where uh, uh, the whole program at Czech Eins and at Kika was, let's say, branded by Hexe Lilly. And uh, the shows uh, around uh, this uh, series um, did uh, themes about witches and so on. There are some uh, brands coming, uh, coming soon, or better said, coming in the future. Uh, which will be uh, a series about uh, a very famous brand, the Arabian Nights, uh, which uh, is an international co-production, but uh, leaded by a German producer. And uh, as well, to mention, as an example of, uh, of, of course, uh, more projects, Niels Holgersen, um, even uh, from a German uh, produ uh, producer. These uh, are only some examples, but uh, just to, uh, to show you a bit the, the range uh, which uh, is uh, on animation programs on RD and Kika. HR is, as I said, uh, one of the nine regional um, broadcasters. Um, we have at HR a long tradition in licensing um, animation program um, for the whole board, for the whole organization. Uh, for example, one is uh, Garfield, which has at the moment 210 episodes, which is really a lot, and is uh, on uh, really, uh, 
I think uh, Stefan could agree on high rotation on Kika, <laughs> and it's uh, very successful. And uh, VHR did, together with Kika, an international co-production, Guess How Much I Love You, uh, where we uh, uh, have the second season in production uh, just now. So that's a, a very brief and a very little survey overview. Um, one other I'd like to mention, it's uh, Little Raven. Uh, perhaps you all know the two um, cinema movies uh, which we had uh, co-produced, and now it's in, in production, the series uh, to this uh, brand. So... Um, What's the common of all these uh, different um, programs? Um, what is uh, important for us? Um, the brands uh, for Czech Eins, uh, for Das Erste, uh, we always have to uh, have a look on that there is a Nelda audience. We don't have uh, only children in front of the screens. So um, the focus uh, for the projects we are choosing is co-viewing and family approach. So uh, for these shows, we uh, like to have um, sort of two levels, one story level for children and another level for the parents or for grandparents. Um, so uh, that you can get shows for the whole family. And we have a very strong focus for Das Erste on classical brands and themes. So uh, we are really focused on doing um, fairy tales, on doing uh, book-based brands uh, um, um, like Niels Holgersson, uh, like uh, the Arabian Nights. Um, so that's, uh, that's a bit the USP, if you want, for children's slots on Das Erste. Of course, uh, Kika is uh, the whole range uh, of uh, uh, children's programs uh, with uh, very focused, at the moment, to 6 to 9, 6 to 10 target group. For us, it's uh, important to uh, get serious, <laughs> serious with uh, 26 episodes or even more. So uh, it's very nice to have uh, very uh, high-level artwork and specials of uh, 30 minutes or um, 51 minutes or something like this. But uh, to put on Kika, we have to have more content. Um, and we want to have even, if something is successful, more seasons to strengthen the brands. I get quicker. Um, <laughs> uh, the international appeal of uh, stories is getting more and more important, of course, because we as uh, public broadcasters, we can't put uh, the... Uh, very, very big amounts uh, of financing. Um, we have to have a very strong focus on storytelling in combination with the high quality artwork. I think for German producers, the quality of artwork is no problem at all, but sometimes uh, we have, uh, I don't want to say problems, but there is some possible development in storytelling. Um, and um, when, if we are looking for international co-production, we really would like to have German producers on board. That's uh, not a quota, and that's not an ultima condition, but it's a very strong wish of us. That's it. Thank you. Thank you, Gabriela.